The day we're taking a look at these WNBA matches, which are happening on Friday, July 7, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link to our Patreon in the description and comment section below. Las Vegas Aces vs Dallas Wings. Finished with a 46.2% FG percentage, 30 of 65, and made 9 of 20 shots from beyond the arc. When they shot from the free throw line, the Aces knocked down 20 of 24 attempts for a percentage of 83.3%. In reference to rebounding, they compiled a total of 39, with 7 of them being offensive. They also recorded 17 assists in this contest, as well as forcing 8 turnovers and earning 1 steal. When talking about the defense, Las Vegas allowed the other team to shoot 40.2% from the field on 33 out of 82 shooting. Dallas doled out 13 dimes and had 8 steals in this game. Moreover, Dallas had 39 rebounds, 13 offensive, 26 defensive, and got one block. Dallas finished shooting 83.3% when shooting free throws by making 10 of their 12 shots. They converted 6 of 24 shots from beyond the arc. Las Vegas enters this matchup with a record of 16-1 this season. They are turning it over 11.6 times per contest and as a team are committing 16.1 personal fouls on a nightly basis. As a unit, Las Vegas is pulling in 35.5 rebounds per contest and has 380 dimes so far this season, which has them ranked second in the league in terms of passing the rock. The Aces are shooting 37.6% on three-point shots, 149 of 396, and 82.5% from the charity stripe. They have an average of 93.4 PTS per contest, first in the league, on 50.0% from the field. On the defensive end, the Aces are forcing 12.6 turnovers per contest, and they draw 18.6 fouls. The Aces defensively are giving up an opponent field goal percentage of 41.5%, 214 of 317, and they concede 33.2 boards per game as a group. They currently rank third in the WNBA in giving up assists to the opposition, with 316 conceded for the season. They are giving up 33.4% from three-point land, and they are ranked second in the league in PPG allowed, 78.3. Our team pick, Las Vegas. For their last game, the Dallas Wings took a defeat with a final score of 89-82, when they faced the Las Vegas Aces. The Wings corralled 26 defensive boards and 13 offensive rebounds for a total of 39 in this contest. They also turned it over 8 times, while getting 8 steals for the game. The Aces were called for 12 personal fouls in this contest, which got the Wings to the free throw line for 12 shots. They were able to make 10 of them for a percentage of 83.3%. When discussing 3-point attempts, Dallas buried 6 of 24 attempts, 25.0%. When the game finished, the Wings walked away from this one shooting 33 out of 82 from the field, which had them at 40.2%. The Wings permitted the Aces to convert 30 of their 65 attempts from the floor 046.2% in this game. They shot 45.0% from beyond the perimeter by going 9 out of 20, and finished the contest at 20 out of 24, from the charity stripe, 83.3%. In regard to how they cleaned up the glass, Dallas allowed Las Vegas to pull down 39 in all, 7 on the offensive side. Our total pick is over. Phoenix Mercury vs Minnesota Lynx. The Phoenix Mercury took the court against the New York Liberty and walked away from this one with a loss by a score of 99-95 in their last contest. Phoenix ended having earned a 50.7% field goal percentage, 34 out of 67, and made 9 out of their 23-point attempts. At the charity stripe, the Mercury converted 18 of 22 shots for a rate of 81.8%. When talking about pulling down boards, they earned 25 with 3 of them being on the offensive end. They also recorded 23 assists for the contest, while forcing the other team into 15 turnovers and earning 7 steals. In reference to defense, Phoenix allowed their opponent to shoot 49.2% from the field on 32 of 65 shooting. New York doled out 6 assists and had 6 steals for the matchup. On top of that, New York pulled down 30 rebounds, 6 offensive, 24 defensive, and had 3 rejections. New York walked away from this one shooting 85.7% from the free throw line by knocking down 24 of their 28 tries. They also made 11 of their 25 shots from beyond the arc. Phoenix comes into this contest with a win-loss mark of 3-13 on the campaign. The Mercury are shooting 31.3% on shots from distance, 105 of 336, and 79.0% from the free throw line. 
they average 77.8 points per game, 12th in the WNBA, while shooting 45.3% from the field. They turn the ball over 16.1 times per contest, and as a team they are committing 20.5 fouls on a nightly basis. As a team, Phoenix is pulling in 29.1 rebounds per contest, and has earned 321 dimes this year, which has them ranked 7th in the WNBA, in terms of passing the ball. Defensively, the Mercury have forced 12.6 turnovers per contest, and they draw 18.7 fouls. The Mercury are giving up a field goal percentage of 44.3%, 202 of 299, and they relinquish 34.6 boards per game as a team. They are ranked 7th in the league in giving up assists to their opponents, with 335 relinquished this season. They are relinquishing 34.6% on shots from beyond the perimeter, and they rank 11th in the league in PPG allowed, 86.6 take Minnesota. When they last stepped on the court, the Minnesota Lynx got the victory with a final of 90-83 against the Indiana Fever. The Lynx were able to collect 18 defensive boards and 8 offensive boards totaling 26 for the game. They also gave up possession 18 times, while learning 5 steals in this contest. The Fever were called for 25 personal fouls for this game, which got the Lynx to the charity strike for 34 attempts. They were able to knock down 29 of the free throw attempts for a rate of 85.3%. Concerning three-point attempts, Minnesota converted seven of 20 attempts, 35.0%. When the final whistle blew, the Lynx finished the game shooting 27 for 58 from the floor, which had them shooting 46.6%. The Lynx allowed the Fever to make 33 of 70 attempts from the field, which left them with a shooting percentage of 47.1% for this game. They finished 25.0% from three-point land by shooting 4 of 16, and walked away from this one shooting 13 out of 14, at the charity stripe, 92.9%. Regarding team rebounding, Minnesota permitted Indiana to collect 30 in total, 10 on the offensive side. Our total pick is over. Atlanta Dream vs Chicago Sky. The Atlanta Dream stepped onto the hardwood against the Los Angeles Sparks, and went home with a win by a final score of 90-79 in their last game. Atlanta ended having earned a 49.3% field goal percentage, 33 of 67, and converted 10 of their 24 shots from three-point land. From the charity stripe, the Dream buried 14 of 23 tries for a rate of 60.9%. In relation to hauling in boards, they collected a total of 39, with three of them being of the offensive variety. They also distributed 30 assists in this game, while creating 11 turnovers and having 6 steals. With respect to the defense, Atlanta let their opponent shoot 42.6% from the floor on 29 out of 68 shooting. Los Angeles distributed 4 dimes and had 3 steals in this contest. Furthermore, Los Angeles grabbed 33 boards, 4 offensive, 29 defensive, and had 5 rejections. Los Angeles finished the game shooting 68.2% from the charity stripe by converting 15 of 22 attempts. They knocked down 6 of 22 shots from 3-point range. Atlanta heads into this matchup with a win-loss mark of 8-8 for the campaign. They average 86.9 points per contest, third in basketball, while shooting 43.8% from the field. The Dream are hitting 36.5% on shots from three-point land, 112 of 307, and 78.9% from the charity stripe. As a unit, Atlanta is grabbing 36.1 boards per game and is sitting with 303 assists for the year, which ranks ninth in the WNBA in terms of passing the rock. They cough up possession 14.7 times per game, and as a basketball team they commit 20.1 personal fouls per contest. When they are on defense, the Dream are forcing 13.4 turnovers per contest, while drawing 20.6 personal fouls. The Dream defense is giving up an opponent shooting percentage of 43.7%, 215 of 329, and they concede 36.8 boards per contest as a group. They are ranked 4th in the league in giving up assists to the opposition, with 318 conceded so far this season. They surrender 33.4% on shots from distance, and they rank 12th in the league in points per game from their opponents, 88.8. .8. Our team pick is Chicago. In their last game, the Chicago Sky walked away with a victory by a final of 89-87 against the Indiana Fever. The Sky pulled down 22 defensive rebounds and 9 offensive boards for a total of 31 in the game. They gave up possession of the ball 13 times, while earning 8 steals in this game. The Fever committed 18 fouls in this matchup which took the Sky to the charity stripe for a total of 16 attempts. They were able to knock down 9 of the free throw tries for a rate of 56.3%. When it comes to 3-point attempts, Chicago converted 12 out of their 28 attempts, 42.9%. When this game wrapped up, the Sky finished shooting 34 for 68 from the field, which had them at 50.0%.
the sky allowed the fever to bury 35 of 68 tries from the floor, which gave them a shooting percentage of 51.5% in the matchup. They went 29.4% from three-point range by going 5 out of 17, and ended up shooting 12 of 18, at the charity stripe, 66.7%. When talking about rebounds, Chicago permitted Indiana to collect 35 in total, 9 on the offensive side. Our total pick is under. Indiana Fever vs. Washington Mystics. The Indiana Fever stepped onto the hardwood against the Minnesota Lynx and walked away from this one with a loss by a score of 90-83 in their last game. Indiana walked away from the contest having earned a 47.1% FG percentage, 33 out of 70, and buried 4 out of their 16 shots from distance. From the free throw line, the Fever knocked down 13 of their 14 attempts for a rate of 92.9%. Regarding pulling down rebounds, they earned a total of 30, with 10 of them being on the offensive end. They also dished out 15 assists in this contest, while forcing the other team into 18 turnovers and earning 10 steals. When talking about defense, Indiana allowed the other team to go 46.6% from the field on 27 out of 58 shooting. Minnesota dished out 8 assists and had 5 steals in the matchup. In addition, Minnesota grabbed 26 rebounds, 8 offensive, 18 defensive, and had 2 blocks. Minnesota ended up going 85.3% when shooting free throws by making 29 of 34 attempts. They also converted 7 out of their 20 tries from beyond the arc. Indiana heads into this matchup with a record of 5-12 on the campaign. The Fever are hitting 31.8% from downtown, 106 of 333, and 79.6% from the charity stripe. They are averaging 81.9 PTS per contest, 6th in the WNBA, while going 44.0% from the floor. They cough up possession 13.4 times per contest, and as a unit are committing 20.8 personal fouls per contest. As a unit, Indiana is grabbing 35.9 rebounds per game and has racked up 302 assists for the campaign, which is 10th in the league in terms of passing. On the defensive end, the Fever have forced 12.2 turnovers per contest, and they draw 17.6 fouls. The Fever defense is giving up an opponent FG percentage of 44.1%, 207 of 300, and they surrender 32.5 rebounds per game as a group. They are 12th in the league in giving up assists to their opponents, with 348 relinquished on the year. They concede 37.0% on shots from distance, and they are ranked 9th in basketball in PPG allowed, 85.4. Our team pick is Indiana. When they last played, the Washington Mystics took a loss by a final score of 89-72 when they played the Dallas Wings. The Mystics were able to snag 19 defensive boards and 5 offensive boards totaling 24 in the game. They turned the ball over nine times, while recording nine steals for the game. The Wings earned 24 personal fouls in the game, which got the Mystics to the free throw line for a total of 25 shots. They were able to bury 20 of the free throw tries for a rate of 80.0%. When discussing three-pointers, Washington knocked down four of 25 tries, 16.0%. When the final whistle blew, the Mystics ended up going 24 for 70 from the field, which gave them a percentage of 34.3%. The Mystics allowed the Wings to make 33 of 74 tries from the floor, which had them shooting 44.6% for this game. They finished 27.3% from beyond the arc by shooting 6 out of 22, and walked away from this one shooting 17 of 23, at the free throw line, 73.9%. Regarding rebounds, Washington allowed Dallas to grab 54 in total, 15 on the offensive glass. Our total pick is over.